Hey Bears, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today, I started out this video with just some clips of my leg training. And so basically, for my leg training yesterday, all I really did was pretty much powerlifting. Uh, even though I probably shouldn't due to my injury, I'm still kind of recuperating. But anyway, so the uh, powerlifting session yesterday went pretty well. Uh, I did a lot of other exercises, but I only recorded three of them. So the first one that you're seeing right now is my squat. So I did a three by three at 365, and that felt pretty easy. Uh, the first two sets, I smoked them pretty well, but this is the third set, and I guess at this point I was just really tired. But it didn't move as quickly as I thought it would, but I still got it up, so it's all good. I really like my depth on the squat here, and. I'm looking forward to some strength gains in the future. But now I've got to focus on uh, recuperating my shoulder. But moving on, I did some 3x3 three three of deadlifts as well. Some single deadlifts at uh, 405 pounds. And it felt pretty dang heavy, but I think my deadlift strength has definitely improved substantially um, ever since the beginning of this year, anyway. And especially at the new body weight I'm at, I think out of all the lifts, my deadlift has improved the most. And I'm really excited to see if I can push past my all-time PR and work my way slowly up into the 500s. And lastly, this is some uh, double taps on the hack squat. Uh, this is technically like a plate-loaded machine squat, but I'm just going to call it a hack just because it's easier to understand. Anyway. anyway yeah, so four sets of eight. This was honestly so brutal after the end of my leg training. And I just wanted to show you this because it's a great way to get really good time under tension. And it's a really great way to sort of body build for your legs. And so if you guys want something or want an exercise to give you a massive pump, uh, this may be the exercise for you. So anyway, uh, that's pretty much all I recorded from yesterday's leg session, and today is going to be a shoulder session. So I got 25s loaded up on my bar here, and I'm just going to do overhead press, probably do like 8 to 10 reps, somewhere in that rep range. Uh, my shoulders are kind of hurting a lot today, so I might even take the weight down a bit, but we'll see. Alright, so again with overhead press. You kind of want to treat it the same way you would treat a squat, uh, at least a front squat anyway, and really get your back tight so that you have a firm, stable base to press off of. So that wasn't too difficult, but I definitely do feel some nagging pain here. But I think I can manage it for the next three sets. Alright, so overhead pressing felt pretty decent, and now I'm moving on into seated barbell press. I've got 30 kilo on the bar here, so that's like 65-ish pounds or something like that. Uh, I'm not going to go heavy today. For obvious reasons, I don't really need to repeat myself there, but I'm also not going to be taking a quote unquote full range of motion with this. I'm going to take it basically to the point where my, my elbow makes a 90 degree angle, so that's sort of perpendicular. And that's just to sort of protect my shoulders a little bit more, and I'll still get a very nice pop in my shoulders. Alright, so basically just about there.
three rack game is a little bit difficult since this is a squat stand. Uh, but this is basically what I'm going to be doing for exercise number two. And I might go a little bit heavier, I might not. This is actually sort of aggravating me a little bit. So I'll probably stay really light here and just do a lot of reps. Alright, so next I'm going to do four sets of 20 reps with the uh, dumbbells that I have. I'm just doing normal presses here. I'm not doing like unilateral or anything. Really just trying to get the pump. Uh, chasing the pump and all that. And I kind of like to hit my reps, reps uh, very quickly when I do uh, dumbbell presses and I'm not sure why I just kind of like doing it that way I could slow it down to make the exercise a little bit harder but you know this is just my preferred way and actually slowing it down would actually be a good idea if you want to get that time and retention if you're trying to like bodybuild or something like that um, that's always a good idea but for me I just prefer to do it that way so all right, so now we got some seated unilateral lateral raises. That's a mouthful. But basically, just doing one side at a time. And we're gonna go for three sets of 10 here. Really trying to control these as best I can. Trying to minimize swing as best I can. And really feeling that tension on that side delt. Okay. Then we go move to the other side and I like with my opposite arm to sort of brace the bench so that I don't swing too much. This kind of helps me reduce the amount of swing. Oh yeah, that really burns. Nine, ten. Okay. All right. So uh, I always love doing lateral stuff. I do like trying to make my delt as big as possible, and a good way to do that is to train the lateral head, this uh, the medial head here, as much as you can. Um, but don't forget, you got three heads in here, so. You can't neglect any of them in shoulder training. You gotta hit them all nice and evenly. Well, as evenly as you can. So one of the things I'm lacking in the most in terms of hypertrophy and size is my rear delt. So I do train my rear delts quite often, but they're just not as big as I want them to be. And so the next exercise, actually the next two exercises are gonna be rear delt exercises. So. I'm gonna finish this out. I got one more set actually, and then we'll do some rear delts. All right, on to rear delts. And with this, we're also doing three sets of 10, and I'm going to do, be doing a, I'm going to be doing a rear delt fly, a seated rear delt fly. And basically, all you wanna do is get onto the edge of a bench and bend over here. Brace your gut against your quads. Have your dumbbells in hand and ready. And from here, all you're gonna do is fly, just like this. You wanna concentrate on your rear delts firing as much as you can. Try not to think too much about your traps. Uh, and basically just set a pace that's comfortable for you. Uh, also, don't pick a weight that's ridiculously heavy. With this, you kind of want to pick a bit of a lighter weight that 
Uh, you can actually use your muscle to get up rather than using momentum and swinging it. Now, you know, swinging and using momentum for heavy weight has its place, uh, but for this in particular, I just think that it's better to resist that momentum and swing as much as possible and don't ego lift, especially since, you know, if you're swinging it too violently on the eccentric, you can really damage your shoulder. So it's better to pick a weight that's good for you and leave your ego at the door. So I'll be doing this for one more set and then moving on into face pulls. Alright, so face pulls is the last thing that I'm going to be doing today, like I mentioned earlier. And I'm not going heavy with this. I'm really just trying to feel the contractions as best I can. And yeah, so I got a my Rogue door strap here. And it's pretty sturdy, pretty durable. And just got a little pull-up band here. I'm just going to ground the band and split it apart like so. And then pull it towards my head. Just like this. Nice and easy. Really just trying to feel the rear delts burning. <sighs> trying to do a little bit of a pause. Ooh, okay. And with that, I'm going to do anywhere between 15 and 20 reps, wherever I feel like is sort of giving me the best amount of pump. So yeah, that's it. That's pretty much the last exercise. I will do some bicep and tricep stuff later, but for now, that'll be it. So to wrap up this video, uh, I got some trips coming up in a few months here. So I want to make sure that I lose as much weight as possible on my cutting phase. This is going to be the second to last week of my maintenance phase. And so I will be counting my macros once again. And I can kind of, if you want, I can make detailed videos about what exactly I'm eating for this second cutting phase. But uh, for now, just stay excited and stay tuned. I got a lot more Bubby Eats videos coming out soon on the channel. Um, still got to wrap up all the videos that I filmed back in April and May. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, also, I noticed that my channel had 250 subscribers recently. I don't know if it's still at 250. Sometimes I dip down and up, but seriously, thank you guys. I honestly didn't think I would make it this far in my YouTube career, but we'll see how far we can grow the bear army. Let's try to hit that 300 mark by the end of the year. Uh, only got like two months left to get another 50 subs, but hey, you never know. Thank you all so much for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. Before you leave, don't forget to click that like button and subscribe so you don't miss future videos. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Sorry, my... I'm just tired. Anyway, see you guys later.